Welcome back gamers. Here at the Luna Lounge, we're joined with two very special guests, Nick and Roshan from Basement Gaming. What's up guys? Hey, how's it going? So uh, my name is Roshan May. I am uh, both the co-founder and also the productions coordinator for Basement Gaming. So I pretty much uh, help out with uh, organizing th uh, public relations with uh, partners that we work with, uh, along with also doing the stream production as well too that we have for a lot of our events too. So guys? My name is Nick. Um, I'm the founder of Basement Gaming. Uh, I'm the head event organizer, and I guess you can think of me as the creative director. I pretty much uh, make sure this company or this business um, pursues certain direction and uh, make sure certain things happen, like where we should host events, what types of events we should host, and how our social media looks like. Uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Uh, so for the viewers out there who aren't familiar with Basement Gaming, can you guys tell them a little bit about it? Sure. So uh, Basement Gaming, essentially what we are is we're an organization or community uh, that focuses on professionally uh, well, well, running professional tournaments for video games. Hey. So uh, we do live broadcast of uh, our, our events that we do through Twitch and also Mixer as well too. Those are our two platforms that we currently work with. Yeah. And uh, we focus on a, like a slew of different like uh, video games. So we do like Overwatch, League nice. of Legends, uh, fighting games is where we originally started from. That's our standpoint or our staple of how like our brand kind of grew originally. So yeah. And then we're looking at other games too that we want to expand to like Fortnite as well too in the future. So yeah. That's Sweet. what we look. So what made you guys decide to start Basement Gaming? Like what inspired you? How did you guys meet? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll start with where we met. We met yeah. uh, grade 10 high school. Grade 10, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, grade 10. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, Roshan was coming in from, uh, you were moving in from Mississauga, right? No, I was in Brampton. So Brampton, okay. I okay. was like more on like the uh, south end. And right, right. Um, when I had moved over, I actually didn't know anybody at all. Yeah. So like Nick was like one of the very first friends that I met at yeah. um, our high school. And, yeah. you know, I kind of just hung out with him and his crew. And yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it was it was a it was a really healthy friendship. He hey. uh, started by modding my PSP, and uh, yeah, I managed to play some Pokemon games and other games on it that I wouldn't have been able to without his help. So uh, funny. But from there, like I think it was like two or three years later, I found out that he played fighting games as well, and uh, yeah, we we played here and there. And then fast forward, I'd say like another two three years, um, I started basement gaming in my basement. And, uh, hence the name. Yeah, hence the name. <laughs> and uh, Roshan was one of the very first people to attend. Um, I'd say he was probably like the 15th or 16th person to attend an event in my basement. And uh, yeah, we kicked it off from there. And he introduced himself. And I mean, he already knew himself, but he wanted to get more into the streaming aspect of basement gaming. Um, so we started off by, you know, assembling our consoles. Uh, we had Smash 4 and... Uh, Street Fighter 4 at the time, I believe, yeah. Yes, um, yes. And then eventually, we started to get more and more people uh, just by attending events, spreading word, creating a Facebook group that's uh, blown up at this point. Um, and then, yeah, we started streaming, or Roshan started streaming uh, with the Basement Gaming tag, and then... Now, granted, I had prior experience with, like, Twitch streaming mm -hmm. on my own, because I, I had my own Twitch channel originally, and... Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of, once I started seeing like what Nick was doing with Basement Gaming, I had a lot of ins inspiration from uh, other streamers, uh, such as Team Spooky, mm -hmm. uh, Beefu Techie. Those are like known streamers in like the fighting game community. And uh, for me, like, I kind of wanted to follow suit and kind of pick up from where they're at. And like, granted, our streams were like very, very low budget. Like, mm -hmm. we were running off of like a webcam microphone when we were doing oh, our streams. Oh, for okay. <laughs> it was really, it's pretty, it's pretty bad, but it's okay. Yeah, but yeah. you know, like That's as we start, though, right? Course, like the beginner of setup. Course, yeah. Of course. So you know, like for us, it's like we've come a long, long, long way, way with like our production and everything of how we kind of handle our events. So yeah. Yeah. And um, honestly, not only just like watching those guys too. And the U.S., but like the, we've had a couple of notable people here in Canada as well too. Uh, Vince RXS and also um, Russell uh, Neil Russell. They have actually helped shed some light in terms of knowledge that I need to know for myself when I'm doing mm -hmm. streams as well. So yeah. I have to thank those guys for that as well too. Yeah, for the viewers out there, if you don't have anyone to play with, then just start your own community. That's how that's how we started. <laughs> Invite them to your basement. Invite them to <laughs> your yeah. fine establishment. It's true. And uh, you know, hopefully, you find people. If not, then just keep pushing. Um, you know, it's definitely there's other gamers out there. Right. You just need to market yourself better. Uh, just keep pushing. 
uh, I promise you it'll it'll come to fruition eventually. Looking back, I mean, you guys have been doing this for quite some time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking back, did you guys ever imagine Basement would grow to what it is now? <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you. When I originally started investing some of my money uh, from when I was working in my co-op job, so I was doing co-op at uh, a college that I used to attend to as well as an IT person. So a lot of my money that I would put aside for like tuition and whatnot, I'd also put into basement gaming. Mm -hmm. And when my dad started finding out that I was using some of that money for that, <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? Like, oh. this, I don't see a future in video games for you. Like, you, you better make sure you're getting ready to go. Yes, you should have. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I did. Because, like, you know, my original background was actually in computer engineering. So okay. I did software and electronics uh, mm. uh, engineering on my side. So that's kind of where my background from mm. the technical side came from. And that's how we are doing things right now. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I just, I just wanted people to play with. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was my whole incentive, like, I need to get better in order to do that. I need to play better players. So, and then, yeah, I just invited people. I did not imagine, you know, 20 to 50 people consistently coming to our events. Right. Um, but, you know, you got to start somewhere. Um, yeah, if you, you know, if you imagine yourself to be a better player, you're going to need to make sacrifices. And my sacrifice was, you know, purchasing equipment that was totally out of my budget. Um, that wouldn't have me eating after like a few weeks. Um, I can totally relate. <laughs> yeah, but you know when you when you have your when you pursue your investments and you start seeing uh, them come to life, then right. you know you get really happy about you know you not eating for like that's true. A few weeks. That's no, guys, true. Hard on you guys gonna eat? <laughs> Just save your money, budget. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't but know also how to budget. Eat. Don't starve. Yeah. I didn't know how to budget, so you know I had to bring food my mom would make every week. Sometimes it wasn't enough, but you know, having to buy monitors, consoles, right. DLC, games, uh, oh, yeah. and seeing people play on them, uh, and more, pe more and more people uh, you know, came to the basement playing on these devices, and just seeing all that, you know, it makes it all worth it. If there was one specific moment your whole time in basement gaming that was most memorable, what would it be? You wanna go first on this? <laughs> nah. No? <laughs> nah. Why, you can't? I could, no, okay. but I didn't know if you were going to say it. No, but, no, I can't, um, I can't. What if you guys have the same one? No, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> um, it's, this is, this is a, it's a tough one for me. It's either between the time when we had Justin Wong, uh, one of the, like, top, like, FGC, uh, like, international. Oh, he's from the U.S., but, like, he's one of the best, like, fighting game players of all time. Like, this guy, he's, like, excellent at almost any fighting game that he touches and takes seriously. So, like, he's really good. And when we had him at Nick's basement, like, everyone lost it like everyone was like oh, oh really oh and like they just like trust me it was crazy this house was stacked like we, uh -huh. we got like a nice group picture as well too with Aww. him and all and it was it was really really good so it would either be between that and also our first uh big major event that we had which was at um the microsoft store and that was thanks to a friend of ours named zaire mm -hmm. um shout out to zaire and um <laughs> <The shout -outs. laughs> so you know he, thanks to him actually because he had a connection with uh, a gentleman that works at the Microsoft store he was able to let him know about what we do at basement gaming because at that time we were hosting weeklies at a video game store inside mm -hmm. of uh, a mall in Brampton and um, he came out to one of our events and what we how we did our tournaments was like we had two different leagues so we had like a league that like the serious players were like you know were heavily invested in and then for those that didn't do so well like you know they went zero and two in their tournament like we'd have a separate league for those weaker players mm -hmm. and this guy Zaire he actually got for First place and like he was really happy about the whole experience and then that's kind of how he, he got the referral and then when we got the uh well, you know we'd start talking a little bit more about the microsoft thing with the rep there and then once he made everything finalized for us and he was like yeah you guys are good to go you guys can start promoting it we'll help you out with marketing it and mm -hmm. when we did that we netted over 150 people uh, at that event and it was a huge success it was crazy that's awesome and that was when i was like yeah we're, we're going somewhere with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just going off Ro what Roshan said, I I'd say, like, there is no particular moment, but I'd say any moment where we have, like, uh, a stacked house at our event, but they're with people that we all know. Mm -hmm. um, like, if, if it's, like, 80% basement gaming guys and then there's, like, 20% unique players uh, and we're all just gaming it out, having fun, I think those are the moments where I, I cherish most. 
uh, where I can, you know, make jokes with the friends that I never thought I, I would have made uh, at Basement Gaming um, and just making new friends at the same time um, while botting them in the games right. that they love. Um, but yeah, th those are probably the best moments I'll, I'll ever have in like, not only Basement Gaming, but like life in general. Yeah. That's amazing. So where do you guys see Basement Gaming in five years? <laughs> I'm gonna definitely throw that one at you first. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious because I honestly, I mentioned this before, like mm. off camera, like that's true. early on when I first met you guys, I just have like some weird vibe that you guys are gonna go somewhere real mm -hmm. far. Yeah, just seeing your work ethic and just your drive. Thank you. Yeah, seriously. So I guess I'm just curious, like where do you guys see yourself in five years? Uh, mm. I don't know. Um, honestly, Judging from where we're at right now, there, we're going through a lot of collaborative efforts. So we're right. partnering with different communities in order mm -hmm. to kind of help promote their brands and the games that they like to host. Um, you know, joining up with different major labels like Bud Light, Red Bull, Raiders Esports Center, uh, Microsoft. Uh, Meltdown just Meltdown, now too. Yeah, yeah uh, SNK in Japan. Um, oh, cool. There's yeah. just, there's so many people that we've worked with. Right. I, I, I only see us partnering with so many more, um, hosting bigger and better events, um, helping out, you know, many other communities themselves and uh, just helping them grow. Um, I think we're going to be the bridge and just like uniting esports communities and grassroots efforts uh, in not only Ontario, but Canada as a, mm -hmm. as a whole. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I think we might even, you know, be able to get to travel a lot more judging from uh, what we do in the next couple of years, I think, uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna go far. But right. it's just a matter of like what it looks like. Obviously, we won't know it yet. Right. For sure, because like honestly, like since of last year, I would even say like our brand recognition has like excelled immensely. And like you go on Twitter, and like there's like any sort of organization that's looking to get people to help out with particular esports related things. The first people that they, people mention is Basement Gaming. Mm -hmm. Talk to Basement Gaming. Those guys, they're doing very well. And it's not even to make us sound condescending, but like this is a real thing. Like if you go on social media, this is what you're seeing currently right now. And like the thing that kind of stands us out from many other TOs currently right now is that like we don't have any negativity going on around us and we're always willing to collaborate with people mm -hmm. and not burn bridges. And like that's what makes us or separates us much differently from a lot of the other people mm -hmm. that currently exist and are yeah. doing their own thing right now. This isn't about like Nicholas Victoria or Roshan May. It's more of like a like a passion project. Like this is purely for the people, uh, <clears throat> you know, by the gamers who absolutely love to game. Uh, you know, we invest so much money into our, our business uh, into our people. Uh, we just want to see people happy, pursuing what they love the most, and gaming their hearts out. Aww. Uh, so what's next for you guys? What are your plans for this year? Uh, well, without going into too much, because uh, you know we're still under <laughs> right, some right. NDAs <laughs> right now, uh, but we do expect a lot of big things coming up with uh, some really large esports um, like organizations here in Canada. Nice. Um, and like some of them, a lot of people do know who these names are. So we are in talks with some of these companies right now and we're prepping up some uh, business plans with them currently. So yeah, stay tuned for a lot of esports related stuff. And it's not just limited to fighting games too. Like we're gonna be doing like Rocket League, we're gonna be doing Overwatch as well. Mm -hmm. Hopefully Fortnite is something that we can do too. And uh, we might even be working with celebrities as well too. That's something that um, we haven't really gotten too much into depth about. But yeah, there's a lot of things coming, especially this summer for Basement Gaming. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is there anything you guys want to say out to the viewers? Well, definitely. If you're not, if you haven't, uh, are not checking us out on any social media, uh, you can follow us on Twitter, which is Basement X Gaming. Um, that's also our Twitch and our Mixer uh, channels as well too, which mm -hmm. we do our live streams off of. And also, we're on Instagram, which is Basement Underscore uh, Gaming. And then on Facebook, you can look us up, Basement Gaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I just want to shout out to all the people who are looking to get into like tournaments or like offline events, I, I heavily recommend it. I think the most important thing to take away from going to events, uh, regardless if you live far away or if you're really close, doesn't matter, is the social aspect. You can meet new people, meet new friends, uh, get to know certain people that might allow you to get better at a certain game, um, and just meet people that you might have never thought of meeting before. Like. You know, I met I met Roshan by gaming. 
Uh, now we're great business partners. Uh, I met Nina by gaming. Yeah. Um, so you never know who you'll, who you'll, who you'll meet. So I, re I really recommend going to events that, um, that incorporate, you know, games that you love and, you know, just play the game, play your heart out. Have one, fun. One thing I do want to definitely say for anyone that is interested in getting into this type of uh, industry, um, try your best to network with as much people as you can. Mm -hmm. You have to make a commitment to go out there and reach out to different communities. Even if you don't have anything going on in your own area, like you have to go out to different locations no matter how far the commute is. And you've got to try and talk with people and get ideas from them and cooperate with them. Even like offer to volunteer. Like you, like one thing you need to make sure or understand when you're getting into this is that money comes second. What really matters first is building a brand and a community. That's the first priority when you're getting into this type of industry. So that's something that anyone that wants to do this should be aware of when you're doing, getting into it. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Cool. Thanks for having us. Thank <laughs> you. Yes, honestly, it was a pleasure. Stay tuned right after the break because we're going to be playing some Modern Warfare 2. That was the second one, right? Yeah. yeah. Two. Finger guns. Okay. Thanks so much for watching The Gamers Galaxy. If you liked the video, show some love and hit that like button and subscribe. See you guys next time. GG.